Okay, what's going on everybody? My name is Mang, and I'm back with yet another Let's Play. Cause why not? Um This is a this is a new game. And that's all the reason I really need. And this is Lords of the Fallen, which I'm playing on the PS4, and we get greeted by this kind of gruff looking weathered man, you might say. Um yeah, that's a little... Yeah... So, this game... Is, um... I guess really, you might say like the first real mainstream Souls clone? Um, maybe that's a point of contention perhaps, but, you know... Uh, a Souls clone being a very similar game as far as gameplay mechanics go to Dark Souls or Demon Souls something like that and uh, I think once Dark Souls 2 was announced I, I knew that there would be games trying to copy it you know uh, that that was like a franchise that's what tends to happen so I'm not shocked that that this game exists um, I don't expect it to be as good as Dark Souls, of course not, but maybe it'll be as good as, say, Dark Souls 2. <laughs> we don't know. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I need to say. I guess we'll just get into a new game. And uh, okay, so magic type selection. Um, you get... Uh, no matter what, you get a set of spells. And uh, it just depends on what kind of character you're playing, I guess. You know, it, it's a Souls clone to a certain extent. You know, obviously they're doing their own thing here. So there's the Brawling Magic, which isn't, you know, okay. I, I mean, that's probably what I'm going to take. There's Deception. So that's some of the more roguish, deceiving, blah, blah, blah. And then there's the uh, Solace, which is the more defensive protection stuff. So there's really nothing like fireballs or anything like that. Not that I see. Or, you know, lightning spears. So we're going to take brawling. Then equipment selection. Okay, we have the warrior set, the rogue set, and the cleric set. Not a great amount of uh, options to start out with. Um, so we're going to take the warrior. And we're going to try and get a spear as soon as we can. And uh, that's that. You don't even get to name your guy. He has a set name. Okay. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. I haven't read too many reviews of this. It, it didn't sound like it was utter trash, is what I read. And that's... that's good. Fallen God, creator and destroyer of worlds, hear my vow.
monasteries ahead. I wonder if it is still safe. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. Fighting a Rogar is quite a challenge. To learn the basics, approach the Marauder just ahead of you using the left thumbstick. Okay, hey buddy. First rule of combat is focused. Focus your senses and camera on your opponent. Press right thumbstick now. Notice two brackets that appear around enemies' HP in a sound cue. This strategy is very often forgotten by unexperienced warriors. I'm not really unexperienced. Most intuitive way of not getting hit is to block. To raise your shield, you need to press and hold L1 now. Yeah. Any behavior is bound by the same rules as yours. They can be staggered like the Marauder now. This is the perfect time window for a strike. Try fast hit with R1. Weapons have different movesets, meaning not all strikes fit all time windows. Don't stop now. If you press R1 again, the next attack will follow on smoothly. Evasion is also a perfectly viable strategy, but needs the right timing. Tilt the left thumbstick to either side, and holding it, press X. While you're on the ground during a roll, you are invincible, but be aware that you're not while getting, whilst getting up and down. Okay. Heavy strikes work similar to fast ones, they just take more time in exchange for more damage. Follow up the next heavy attack with R2 now. Go on it, save the Marauder won't recover in time. With the remainder of the game, you'll need to judge the risk yourself. Oh, thank God. Second rule of combat is management. The orange bar at the bottom of the screen is your energy. Keep tracking it while fighting. It regenerates, but most actions consume it. By the way, congratulations on your victory. Yeah, <laughs> like a Souls game would ever say this. Press X to start your adventure. So, yeah, just, I mean, as far as, um story and presentation go this is not a souls game you can tell um and that that's fine you know it is what it is but it's different okay well that's pretty badass yeah i think i'll stick with this it looks cool look at that sword you can do a shield bash. Oh, I gotta talk to him. I'm only two handed. It's locked. Oh, dialogue. Oh, God. How do we open the door? There must be some way to open this door. A switch, perhaps. Or a key. Yeah, I'm looking around. I mean, the game looks pretty. There's some kind of... I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but there's kind of a weird stuttering going These on. These things keep coming. We fight back, but... There are too many of them. It is sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and turn in ways they're not supposed to. Their smell. It's like fire and death creeping up your nose. One of the creatures we were fighting spat on us. The saliva hit my eye. It burned, and it burns deeper into me. Well, that's probably not good. Gotta 
find a key. Whoa, whoa. Careful, not all enemies are Rogar, but all have their own behavior patterns. For example, some are blind, so you don't always have to fight them. You might want to remain quiet. Yeah, right. Like, I'm not gonna just kill this thing. There you go. Got a sealed rune. Uh, one complaint that I heard uh, was if you're just playing the warrior and you're doing the, the normal kind of soul strategy that I tend to go for, uh, the game can be kind of easy. We'll see about that, but... Oh. I'm trying to get a backstab in. Nope. Oh, I like kicked him. There we go. Oh, oh. Crouch or something I don't know about. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just kicks it open. Oh, that was cool. I like that. Break everything. are moving, growing. It does not feel like poison in my veins. More like liquid darkness. We have seen the first of people's necks. Eyesight goes first, then follows sanity. Brother William, Brother Peter and I won't let the disease take us. Dear Father, the fires on the horizon they are spreading towards our village. I beg you, be careful. Something evil is happening. I can feel that. You can always seek refuge here, in the monastery. Whatever happens, Antanas can save us. Please, please, be safe. Okay. You might want to remember the location of this magical portal and other ones too. It opens up once you've defeated a formidable enemy. One enemy, one portal. It's always a reward on the other side. Okay, cool. What is... What are you doing? I got like a multiplier going on, which is cool. And these guys so far are pretty easy. But then, you know, so are... Most of the enemies at the start of Souls games. Although, you know, some of those guys at the start of like uh, Dark Souls One. I mean, they can get one of those crazy where they just go like insane for a, a few moments and just beat the shit out of you. And then, at, you know, Dark Souls Two, you got those big Cyclops hippos. Dark Souls 1, you have the Asylum Demon, which caused, you know, my brother to never play again. 
So I guess maybe if this game doesn't have that difficulty, it's got a wider appeal. I don't know. I got an energy shard. God, that's such a slow roll. Ugh, blah. I've found a key. What are you waiting for? Open the door. Support me? What is he, my wife? Get the shit out of here. Suddenly I have my helmet on. First Warden. Alright, so here we have the equivalent of the uh, Asylum Demon. Now, unfortunately, it's a big humanoid guy with a sword, which is already not very inspiring. Standard strategy, though. Slow roll. Okay, yeah, that's a weird attack. I'm not sure you'd ever do that move in a real life sword fight. That sound. Okay, that really hurt. I have a potion, yes. Oh, there we go. You gotta hold it down. Ah! It's not, not terribly interesting. It doesn't really change it up too much. Yeah. Oh, now his shield's gone. Now he's going to get angry. Oh, a little pirouette. That's so cute. Shit. We got this guy. Finish him. 
I mustn't use a potion, though. That's the weak way out. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh, now I feel like a schmuck. I'm trying to remember if I died to the asylum demon the first time. I definitely died to the, uh... To the Vanguard the first time. But you're kind of supposed to. I, it's not really a very interesting fight. It's unfortunate. Like, he's not really tougher than, say, the Asylum Demon. But it just takes longer, which is not really what you need. Ugh. Like, that stupid shield. Oh, God. Where are my souls at? Because I heard about this. Yeah. So, here are your souls, or whatever you want to call them. And, uh... If you stand by them without picking them up, you get some HP regen. But uh, the longer you leave them sitting, they have the potential to like lose value, so you lose souls. It's kind of a cool mechanic, or if you need the HP regen, you can just have them sit there. So I'm gonna bask in the glory of that while it's still at 100%. Bullshit. What an annoying boss fight. Alright, so now it's starting to dwindle. Two handed. Ugh. That's how real men do it. God, that roll is so terrible. <laughs> it's so terrible. It's epic. Oh, oh, look at those hitboxes. Perfect. Oh, yes. Spin your sword around when you're about to get hit by some weird fireball thing. Oh man, what a dumbass. What was that? One of those lords Kazlo keeps talking about. Oh, I got a great sword. Hold on, I gotta I got see this shit. Ooh, it's like purple. Oh, I need 15 strength. Ah! But I want it. It's got sockets.
Experience you earn for defeating the enemy remains with you until you decide to store it or die. The more you carry, the higher rewards drop from fallen foes. Still, if you don't want to lose what you currently have, bank it in the save shards like this one. It prevents the loss upon death, but also resets your drop rate modifier, so it's a trade-off. Storing the experience at save shard gets you attribute and spell points. Hold either L2 to store experience towards spells, or R2 to store it towards attributes. Okay. Uh, well, I'll try it out. I mean, I doubt my modifier is that high since I... Well, I don't know. I, I Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, I don't care about spells, really. At least not at this point. I want that 15 strength to try out that, that sword. Okay, so those are the attributes. Strength, vitality, faith, endurance, agility, luck. That gives you some info. Attributes, spell selection, wheel, main stats, so on and so forth. Okay, I get it. Oh, I get two attribute points. That's not enough. I'll take the strength, though. I'm all about that strength. Faith boosts magical weapon damage. Okay. Endurance gives you more energy and equip burden. Agility. Fast weapons. Slight increase to energy. You'll need more luck to get better rewards for killing opponents. But it also helps you to get better crafting materials. Yeah, so Epic Name Bro put out a video recently talking about this game. And he, uh... He called out how bullshit this was, that there ha there's a luck stat. So you have to put attribute points as part of, you know, leveling up to get better rewards from enemy drops. And he said that was really incredibly bullshit. And I agree, it's pretty dumb. Okay, so now this... Oh no, okay. But since my strength is closer to 15, now it only does 29, well, it does 29 damage, which is still higher than anything else. So I wonder if the move set is just weird. I don't know. I mean, it uses up a lot of energy, so that might be it. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll hold off. I'll try out the hammer, though, I guess. Get used to a big weapon. Kazlo. Kazlo. Damn it. Well, move on then. There are many ways to deal increased damage. Surprise attack is one of them. Approach the infested slowly and quietly by moving. Slightly moving left thumbstick forward. Pull off a special attack, stand directly behind the enemy. Also, okay. I'm focused. Press R1 to enjoy your ambush. Oh, he's dead. More runes. Oh. Soon after banishing the god, the three men that were known as the judges parted ways forever. Apart from their common goal, they were very different in every possible way. Three statues were built for them on the square of the judges, displaying the distinct paths they had taken. These statues hold a secret as if it were their heart, but it is retained by the stone. Only the shard of heroes could make that heart beat and only an unearthly force could tear it out. Yeah, this guy just came charging out of nowhere, but I was ready for him. Each successive victory stacks up your chance for a better loot and gradually increases the experience yield further on. The streak resets however once you save a game or die. You can play it safe by storing the experience in save shards later or risk a lot for huge rewards. I like that system. I think that's cool. Um, Because now I would have gotten more if I hadn't have died to that boss. But I did die to that boss. Ah! OK. 
Okay, apparently I missed a secret somewhere. He's got a monk staff though, which is cool. <laughs> Should we take a look at this monk staff? It's purple. Cool. It's fast. Where are you coming from? Oh, get backstabbed. Oh! Oh! That's cool. I like that. We can't stand against such forces much longer. We must find a place to hide. A place with walls and soldiers. Mighty Antanas, we will be on our way. Please prepare for a few dozen refugees. Okay, I must have missed a secret somewhere. And apparently, how do you get there? Is there a jump system? Oh, look at that. Oh, the wing door key. What exactly were the lords? They wielded power beyond our understanding. They fought fiercely, and they blindly followed the god. He tried to talk to them, reason with them, failed. The lords did not come for this sacrifice. They came to serve their purpose. To lead the Rogar army against the humans. This does like a shit ton of damage. Oh, and the cleric armor. I kind of liked how that looked. Oh, look at him spin his staff. That's cool. Okay, so I don't think I know what to do with these yet. They have not told me. Yeah, that looks beastly. Cool. Warriors should care less about getting hit and more about hitting the opponent. Yeah, if you want to die, that's a great strategy. It's real, it's real awesome. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. It looks good. I'll give them it. I'll, I'll give them that fact. How much damage that does compared to that sword I had. And this is like an agility weapon. It doesn't even benefit from my strength, I don't think. Oh, I probably shouldn't have. Yeah, well. I don't have enough. But I'll bank it, I guess. I, I gotta realize about the whole um, multiplier and stuff. Oh, okay. Ow. Ooh. Hold up now. I'm in a corner. All right, bruh. Let's do it. Oh, whiff. Whiff. Oh. I can't see what's going on, but I bet I'm doing a lot of damage. Yep, yep, yep. And you're dead. I mean, so far I like it. I, I like the combat, and really that's the most important thing about playing a type of game. Well, any type of game is, is the gameplay. 
so um, I like it. It's it's a bit more methodical. I mean, it's a bit slower paced, I guess, than Souls, but and the camera kind of gets like that should not be as wonky as it is right now. Um, but it feels satisfying. And uh, the graphics are good. Look at this nice view we got. I mean, we can see stuff going down over there. He does that cool spin. I like that. You can see all the flags waving in the wind. Badass mountain. I mean, praise the sun, right? Praise the freaking sun! I mean, this is not a Souls game. I'm not going to spend the whole time comparing it to that. I understand it's its own thing. Hey. Help me. Help me, please. Open the gate. No, I'm just going to spin my staff. Screw you. Whoa. Who are you? Oh, you're going to die. That's who you are. <laughs> he got freaking owned, man. And I, I like the, uh, I like the multiplier and the checkpoint system. That's really cool. I wish Souls games had something like that. You, help me, please. What happened to your hand? Spider venom. It burns like Adir himself touched it. Rip the wound and suck the poison out. Too late. It already spread. There's only one way to stop the venom. Separate the poisoned limb from the body. You want me to cut my arm off? You're a madman. You will see the judges soon then. I can't. I won't. It's in your hands. Oh, I'll do it. All right. On your head be it. Thank you. I owe my life to you, stranger. Wait. You're not one of the monastics. The markings on your face. A gift from the court. A reminder of my sins. Please, put the axe down now. Okay. Wait. Please, tell me you have a potion. <sighs> Fine. Here, take this one. Because you would die without it. Although, I'm pretty sure the poison is already all the way through your system, like... I don't know. I, I, I don't know much about poisons and things like that, but... He didn't really say how long it's been. Spiders! Oh, fuck that. Oh, and they make weird noises. I ain't about that. Oh, hot blood. Hold on, I gotta check this out. Okay. It's the light armor. It's got more poise, though. Sure, what do I care? Look at that fast roll. Just kill you, that's what I'll do. Northern wall. And no, I think we gotta check this out yet. Hey. You. Get away from me. Don't hurt me. 
There are demons infesting the whole of this place. Flee if you wish to live. Everyone took refuge in the Citadel, and Tanisar leader gave oath that he would mark the way to the remaining entrance. But I can't follow the signs when the whole place is teamed by those monsters. I'm trapped. <laughs> yes, you really are trapped here. Antanas. I seek him. Antanas must have latched himself in the Citadel with the other survivors. If you follow the signs I mentioned, you shall find the ingress to the Citadel without a problem. Listen carefully. This trinket will help you discover Antanas's markings. There are three signs I know of. Please find them. Return to me as soon as you locate the signs Antanas left for us. If you help me, I'll give you something of interest in return. I should just kill him. Oh, actually, he gave me something cool. Hmm, not as cool as I thought. I don't know, should I try and kill him? I mean, we gotta find out at some point if it's possible. Somebody's gonna bitch about me doing this. Oh, nope, impossible. Bullshit! If this were souls, he'd be dead! All right, well now you know. I took the risk so you could all learn if you can kill people or not. You already talked to. All right, back down to the the wall. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Ow, ow. Shooting stuff at me? Ow! Get on. Drink a potion, I guess. Anybody here? Sure doesn't look like it. Whoa! Okay, fighting stances, different movesets, blah, blah, blah. Ow! Here, warriors don't care about getting hit. They just care about doing damage. Ah! Bastard. Yeah, spin your staff. Okay. Oh, attribute point shard. And I got some live elements. They need better names for their armor, but okay. It's medium, which is probably more up my alley. Alley, alley. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, and I got this axe from somewhere. Cool. And I got uh, this, so that's good. We're like 45 minutes in. I kind of want to keep playing, but I probably should stop soon. Ninth night on watch. How could the Rukar get inside the sacred walls of Keystone? They appear out of nowhere. Good God! One shot at him. That was a lengthy uh, backstab animation. I'm okay with it. Alright. Let's do it, boys. Ooh. Okay. Not a great amount of health here. Ah! Ah! Watch that energy. We're gonna have to bump up our endurance soon. There we go. Alright. 
I like my multiplier that's going on. It's all good. Full set of new heavy armor. Yeah, I gotta try it. Oh man. Yes. Bring it on. Oh my god, what a heavy attack. Oh, yeah, they didn't mention that, but I heard Epic Nabro talking about that where if you hold down the strong attack, you can like charge it up. I wanna try it. <laughs> Sweet. That is badass. Okay, I think I missed something. I got I got too excited. Was that? Uh. Okay, that that was not how that was supposed to go. That was strange. Okay, so we got this gauntlet that shoots stuff, but it costs magic. Mighty Antennas. My research is over. I dare to claim that this gauntlet does only one thing, but it does it rather well. It eats hatred like a hungry lion and spits it out like a dragon spits fire. Its bearer can wield it like a horrible weapon, but his soul must not be pure. A shattered soul will make the most out of this device. Right, there's a checkpoint over there. Just gotta kill a couple of these bastards. <laughs> I like that. Um. God, I just keep exploring. Hold on. No, I don't want to. Mighty Antanas, I've found traces uh. of a Rogar Lord that was once known for his preoccupation with the physical form, and his shield being no less. Where is it? Where is what? Back off! This doesn't concern you. Whatever you want, you won't get an answer. From Dead man. Seems it's your lucky day, altar boy. What was that about? They're liars, and worse besides, not only did they steal my family valuables, but they've hidden the pathway. <laughs> this is a monastery, no women allowed. This is a monastery. <laughs> no women allowed. No criminals allowed either, but here you are. If it's to be an Inquisition, tell me about that constellation on your ugly face. Ah, uh, I thought not. Let's both keep our secrets. Alright. I must go. Suit yourself. Okay. So... I'm gonna bump that up to 15 then. So then we can use our greatsword finally. And uh, we're gonna pump this into this. And we'll just go up to that, yeah. And uh, we're gonna get a bit of that going on. We'll throw one into luck, because it's probably important. And so then we can equip the greatsword. 
Which of course has, you know, a very slow move set, but it probably does a ton of damage. Cool. Then you can charge it. Ugh. All right. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be the first video for Lords of the Fallen. I definitely like what I see so far. Um, this is not, uh, at least, you know, as far as I've played, just some shitty Souls ripoff. I don't really love that, you know, it's a traditional kind of story. You know, that's one of the most incredible things about the Souls games is how kind of just mysterious the games are. And like, just, there's just such a uniqueness to it that it's, it's really captivating. But uh, as far as the gameplay goes, I, I'm liking what, what, what's going on so far. But uh, my name is Mang. A game you've been watching is Lords of the Fallen. And I'll see you in the next part.